Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another what's for dinner video. In today's video I'm going to be making some homemade chicken parm, a mango salsa which was amazing as well as I'm going to be um, getting a little bit fancy with some seared scallops. And then to make up for the fact that we had seared scallops for one of the days for dinner I'm going to be basically making a poor man's rice and bean wrap. I hope that you guys enjoy it and let's get started with the video. Okay, so to start, I'm going to be cutting up all of my veggies as I always do first. I just like to prep everything before I start the cooking process. Um, so right now, as you can tell, I'm chopping up one jalapeno and I did take the seeds out um, just to keep it pretty mild as well as two tomatoes, um, half an onion as well as one whole mango. So to that, I'm also going to be adding in some green onions to taste as well as however much cilantro you want to taste. I think I ended up using about half of the bushel. Once I've chopped all of that up, I just add it to my little container and that's usually where I end up keeping the salsa for the week. just gonna get started on my Parmesan chicken breading station so I've got some panko breadcrumbs uh, with a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese in a separate bowl I have two eggs that I've mixed a couple a little bit of milk into just to loosen it up a little bit and lastly in the third bowl I have about a cup to a cup and a half of flour that I have also seasoned with some salt and pepper so to get your chicken ready to go, you want to first dip it into the flour, make sure to, to shake off any excess, then dip it into the milk or into the eggs. Lastly, dip it into your panko parmesan crust until you are ready to fry that up in a frying pan until you get this delicious golden brown crust. Depending on how thick your chicken slices are, at this point you may have to finish it off in the oven. I know I did. I just wanted to make sure that my chicken was fully cooked through. But while that was finishing up in the oven, I got started on my homemade honey mustard. And this is honestly the best, easiest honey mustard recipe that you will ever need. Um, it's basically just equal parts of mustard, mayo, and honey, and voila that is done and ready to go look at how delicious my parmesan chicken looks this was honestly so juicy and tender and delicious um, I ended up just having mine with a little bit of that salad and salsa just because I wanted something a little bit more refreshing to go along with it, but it was amazing and I hope that you guys get to try it one day. So this next recipe was basically inspired by the fact that I just had some leftover ingredients from that salsa that I made, including some cilantro, onions, jalapeno, uh, garlic. So I wanted to use that up as well as um, use up some black beans that I had cooked up the night before. I do cook my own black beans a lot of the time, honestly, partially because I have an Instapot and it just find it to be so easy. Um, so as always, I'm starting out by chopping up all of my veggies.
if I'm gonna continue to buy these little gelatinous chicken stock cubes. Every single time I use them, I seem to have such a struggle with them. Um, I do live in an apartment, so stocking up on a ton of chicken stock just really doesn't work for me. It takes up way too much space. So I'm trying to find some sort of a concentrated chicken stock that I can use and store in my apartment, but that also tastes great. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions in the description box below. I would love to hear your feedback. And as you can see at this point, um, I rolled up all of my little burritos and decided to make them a little bit fancier by grilling them on the stove top. With that, I served it with a little bit more of that cilantro as well as sour cream. We had so much of this left over, but it worked out really well. We ended up eating it all, so it was awesome. It was a really, really good thing to meal prep as well as it was really inexpensive. So moving on to something a little bit more bougie um, on this night I really wanted something rich and comforting and delicious So I decided to make these seared scallops on some pasta with like a cream garlic Parmesan sauce um, This was really really delicious. I love scallops and I feel like I'm, I do a really good job at searing the scallops properly um, So as always I'm prepping my ingredients in the back there I have a little bit of water that is boiling so that I can add my pasta to that and pre-cook the pasta a little bit. Then I'm going to get started on my cream sauce. your scallops it's really really important to sear first well first of all it's really really important to season your scallops on both sides with salt and pepper you always want to season the scallops right as you're about to cook them because if you do salt them beforehand um, it does extract some of the moisture and it kind of messes with the cooking process now I'm definitely no expert on cooking scallops but from my experience if you pre-season it and then put it on the pan and just leave the scallops there until you develop a nice brown crust. Um, you are golden and that's when you want to go ahead and turn it over. You don't want to overcook the scallop too too much on the inside but you do want it to develop a really beautiful crusty sear on the outside. There you have it, another what's for dinner. And today I have three meal ideas to inspire you to cook at home, to enjoy the food that you make. Um, if you do enjoy my videos, like I always say, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. It does help, help and support my channel quite a bit. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day and happy cooking.